Good morning, good evening, good people. Today we're gonna talk about YouTube. We're gonna go three videos. Uh, the first one, this one gonna be about the money side of it, the aspect of money. We're gonna learn a lot about uh, what YouTube look for in channels and what they want why they pay out for certain things and um, the second video we're going to talk about <clears throat> um, we're going to reverse engineer some channels look into what everything means the channel analytics and the video analytics as they call it and uh, <clears throat> the last video we're going to do some what can you do for your channels for success? For keywords. Uh, yeah, pretty much keywords. It's the most important thing when you come to Google and YouTube to understand, which is YouTube SEO. So let's begin. So it's gonna be kind of long. So we're gonna have a pace, and I'll explain everything as we go through. I'm gonna read, so we can start. Just have this website been updated with this actual article, July fourth, twenty twenty-two, fairly recent. So <laughs> you got your channel monetized recently. Logged into your. YouTube analytics and immediately felt overwhelmed with vague terms like CPM, RPM, and playbacks. Well, first of all, congratulations or good luck in your journey if your channel is not monetized yet. Understanding YouTube CPM and other monetization related terms is an important part of your YouTube journey jobs, YouTubers job. If it would help you to evaluate your video performance and find avenues of possible growth for your channel what is CPM CPM is a marketed term that stands for cost per milli milli is a Latin word for a thousand this term is mostly used to showcase costs and average to showcase the cost an advertiser is paying for 1,000 ad views YouTube CPM is when it comes to your own YouTube channel. YouTube CPM is the average cost advertisers are paying for 1,000 views of their ad on your channel. <clears throat> this number can help you understand the estimate total earnings of your channel, as well as the track the performance of specific videos based on their topics and audience interests. <clears throat> However, it's important to understand that CPM number you see in your account is not the actual revenue. If you are looking to see your estimated revenue, you need to look into RPM. What is RPM? RPM stands for revenue per milli. It is the metric YouTube used to communicate to you the number that you actually earn from the views on your monetized videos. YouTube takes 45% of the total CPM numbers as their cut. RPM is the 45% that are left to you as the channel owner. CPM is still an important metric for you as you, as your RPM directly correlates to it. Higher CPM equals higher RPM, which means more money in your pocket at the end of the day, in your pockets. You see how big the cut is from YouTube. That should tell you how much money is out there. YouTube take a good bit of it. And these and again this money is being paid to from advertisers. Take not YouTube technically. YouTube getting paid from your channel by taking forty five percent of the ad revenue. 
So that's what they call it, partners. Why does my YouTube channel CPM? Finding your channel CPM is in the past used to require actual calculations from your side. But recently, YouTube started showing those stats directly on your dashboard to see your channel current CPM rate. Log into YouTube Creative Studio, head over to, and that's for people who monetize, head over to the analytics section in the left sidebar. Inside the analytics section, click on the revenue tab. It looks like this. As you can see, there are three numbers available there, your estimated revenue, RPM rate, and your playback based CPM, which is your actual CPM, after removing non-monetized views. What is that? So we're gonna find out how YouTube CPM works. YouTube CPM is based entirely on the revenue you will make from the ads on your video. Earning <coughs> ad revenue, with your monetized channel is very simple. After inserting ads into your video, you will get paid for each monetized view, meaning that a viewer each at each either watch an ad for its entire length, watch 30 seconds of an ad, or interact with it by clicking on a link, for example. Your YouTube CPM is the average rate you earn from 1,000 monetized views. <clears throat> so a monetized view is someone who watched the ad for the whole ad, watched 30 seconds of an ad, or clicked on it. So those ways we can help each other by clicking on ads in the videos. <laughs> As a YouTuber, you have plenty of options to choose from when adding ads into your video. The most common one are true view ads, most commonly known as skippable ads and non-skippable bumper ads. The decision of which type of ads to put on your video can impact your CPM rate significantly. <clears throat> adding more non-skippable ads would increase it as you get paid for watched ad, but on the other hand, it will likely irritate a portion of your viewers and cause them to leave. That's a trade-off you need to take into consideration. <coughs> YouTube niches with the higher CPM rate. So these ads being put on videos gonna be based off your video content. And um, they pay higher, they put they got higher paid quote unquote ads on videos with certain niche the niche is a category or a subject matter so according to our research of 100 different public youtube income reports and we're gonna do those things that's what uh they do research or uh, reverse engineering successful channels i'll show you at the end of this video with one channel the highest paying YouTube CPM niches this year are affiliate marketing, investing, and we're gonna talk about affiliate marketing in this too, drop shipping, uh, content creation, and personal finances. You can read full research, YouTube channel, viral video ideas. We're gonna look into some of that. <coughs> Based off country, they pay differently. And for most of us on this, we're going to be United States. So according to the recent research made by this blog, the country with the highest overall CPM rate this year is Australia, with a staggering CPM rate of $36. So that's $36 per 1,000 ad monetized views on ads. Other Western countries such as United States, Canada, New Zealand are right up there with an average around $30. Average. The average CPM rate on YouTube is currently around $1.5 to $2.5.
This number is based on extensive research research and data we got from other authority figures in the YouTube marketing world as well as advertising companies. It's important to keep in mind that the CPM rate on YouTube varies greatly from one video to another, depending on both the niche of the video and the origin of the country of its viewers, like we have mentioned above. Your goal as a channel owner should be to reach a higher than average CPM rate, which can be done by creating videos based on topics with consistent high CPM rates. The highest CPM rate on YouTube currently Paying down the exact YouTube channel or video of the highest CPM is almost impossible as YouTube does not share this type of data publicly. However, there are some YouTubers who do share this information publicly via income reports they post on their channels. You can find those channels. I will recommend people to look for those. The income report, YouTube income reports, YouTube channel income reports. Search for those in the search bar. They post on their channel and allow us to deeper dive into the higher paying income content. The video with the highest CPM on YouTube that we managed to find got a staggering $300 CPM. This video was made by School Show, a relatively small channel, right? About online marketing. So the niche is maybe fully in marketing. They might, they might be doing affiliate marketing, investing, dropshipping, all on the same channel. Knowing this information, people will make channels based off the highest CPMs that YouTube paying for. They'll make content based off those subjects that we just read. You can see him sharing this impressive number, analyzing the keys to its success in the video below. We're gonna look at some of these stuff in, in another video when we do our own reverse engineering research. Do YouTubers get paid if viewers skip ads? The, so, the short answer is no. As a YouTuber, you get paid only for ads that viewers watch for their full length or at least 30 seconds for longer ads. Skip ads do not count for your earnings. If we dig a little deeper into this question, it comes down to the type of ad that a user shown. While skippable ads are well skippable, you can also opt out for using non-skippable ads to your video. Those are usually six second longer bumper ads, and you will earn revenue for any viewer who watch more than two seconds of those ones. So it depends on how long your ad is. You basically got to watch a, about half. But this one is about a quarter, two seconds. <laughs> We're going to look into that in another video about placing ads, ads placements on videos. How to get higher CPM on YouTube. So right now we can talk about it. Duplicate, we can talk about what you can do duplicate your winning videos analyze all your videos and figures what are your top five videos in terms of cpm rate over a long period of time ideally six months from those stats you can find patterns and determine what kind of content is the most valuable for your channel come up with more similar video ideas and add them into your video production queue let me see something else about this always when you come to business because this is this is a business legit business you always put a percentage back into your business which we call investing yourself <clears throat> like show you the different things you can invest in to to help grow and make more uh, Let's continue. Say create longer pieces of content. In order to show ads in the middle of your videos, they should have to be at least eight minutes long. 
If you are usually producing shorter videos, consider making them longer and more detailed if possible to reach this number. Adding middle roll ads can increase your revenue and CPM by up to 80%. And that's why those uh, sleep videos, uh, they make a lot of money with CPM because of the, uh, <clears throat> the um, people fall asleep on and the ads play out all the way through. And they put a good bit of ads in those being that like 11 hour videos. They got tons of ads within one video. And most of them get watched through from the thousands and thousands of people. For your video with more ads, the easiest way to increase your CPM is obviously adding more ads in the middle of your video. Just make sure to consider the downside. Each ad you put increase the channel of viewers from leaving. You need to experiment with few of your videos until you find a sweet spot for your audience. Everything is tested. YouTube is, is a method to the madness, right? For any business, the more you learn the method, the less you can deal with luck and emotion and guessing you're dealing with what you can control. So with this, we controlling the CPM. Now with this CPM, especially for the young, early YouTubers, you gotta figure out other ways to supplement the income. And we already know about super chats. We already know about cash apps. But uh, there are many other ways we're gonna talk about in other videos too. How to do your description bar. I mean description box to supplement income. We're gonna talk about uh, different ways right now. So be besides increasing your CP and rating, relying on YouTube ads as the main source of profit, there are countless other monetization methods you can use to increase earnings from your YouTube channel. Here are two notable methods: affiliate marketing, adding affiliate links to in all your video descriptions. It's an easy way to increase your potential income without extra work from your side. I can show you how to do this automatically and manually um affiliate marketing i'm going to talk a little bit about that how you can get things to sell to promote easily so a lot of youtubers utilize the description to include amazon affiliate links we show you how to get those who like to purchase the exact gear they are using for the video production. But you should add any affiliate link that you believe would be relevant to your audience. I'll we'll talk about that in another video. Selling merchandise, and we'll talk about that. After you buy a loyal audience, regardless of its size, offering branded merchandise is often a great solution for increasing your channel revenue. It can be as simple as shirts for slogans, catchphrases. The key is allowing your audience to show their support of your efforts. So we're going to talk about some more. And if you ain't, if you ain't monetize it, you will use some of these methods until you get there. And these days, any everybody can use the extra income. Especially these days, high grass prices, high food. All right, keep the children fed with a nice little check. You know, YouTube is a good way, legit business. So we see people consider worrying about views and clicks and doing anything for it but um everything is built you mean you blow off love love for your subs love for your channel yourself you can grow faster and make more 
honest money, as I call it. And we're going to show you these ways. <laughs> so, with over 30 million daily users, YouTube is the most famous tool for video sharing and watching. What is even more interesting is that YouTube earns a total revenue of more than 15 billion every year. However, the application share is profit with the workers behind it, the video creators, you. So, making money is as simple as uploading a video and sharing it with the world. That said, you must know that although the source of income is relatively easier, it's not the easiest. But the good news is you do not have to be a big celebrity or influence with millions of subscribers. So we just talked about this already. The CPM, RPM. Even if your YouTube channel is not very big, you can still earn revenue through ads. All you need to do is sign up for the YouTube Partner Program, YPP. With the help of this program, you can get money for every ad watched by your viewers before or in between your video. Moreover, YouTube will also give you access to create a supportive team and copyright match tool sound sighting. <laughs> to get access to YPP, you will have to complete some prerequisites. Um, valid public video with the minimum of 4,000 watch hours in the last 12 months. Adhere to YouTube monetization policies. Minimum of 1,000 subscribers. Live in an area where the YPP is available. Access account to receive payments. Once you complete the matching step, your request will be under review by the YouTube team for double checking of requirements. That is not all. You will also get access to many more revenue streams such as Super Chat, YouTube Premium, channel membership and merchandise shelf merchandise shelf we'll talk about another time that's something that they updating but it could be a way to make some extra money for content creators they updating that so <clears throat> but you're still gonna use this the old one now what you can sell merchandise and customized products what if you could sell Customize merchandise directly to your fans. Not only will they connect more to your channel, but you will also earn a good income on sales. Nevertheless, you must meet the requirement of having 10,000 subscribers or more, along with being a YPP member. <coughs> Hold on, let's stop right here and come back. 